What I think we're doing is to send a very strong signal to President Putin that if he does have the audacity to try and attack any NATO country, he can expect the full force of a NATO response. And we're making that very clear by sending uh, additional soldiers to Latvia, to additional resources to Poland. And I think that is exactly the right thing to do. So this is a show of strength, really. Potentially, uh, the, the, in the old words of, of President Ronald Reagan of the United States, carry, uh, speak softly, but carry a big stick. Hopefully not wanting to use those armaments, those missiles, those reinforcements that we're putting in the area, but showing Mr. Putin that we mean business. That's exactly right. And uh, I think it's much better to do it at this stage uh, while Mr. Putin is contemplating what his next moves are. And hopefully we can actually prevent a complete destruction of Ukraine. But I am fairly pessimistic about that. But your report makes very clear that this shelter that was uh, containing large numbers of children was probably uh, targeted by Russian military sources. And I think every time Putin's forces commit an atrocity like that, it reignites determination of the West that we've got to withstand this whole, we're, in every way we can, we've got to withstand uh, what Putin's doing, what, uh, these atrocities that he's committing in Ukraine against their people. It's, it's fascinating to look at these sorts of tactics. I, I can't imagine why the Russian army would think that targeting civilians in the way that it appears they have been would be advantageous for them, clearly trying to break the morale of yeah. the Ukrainian people, a very high morale, but potentially they're performing actions that could be counterproductive, uh, you, almost uniting the Ukrainian people and the Western world against them. I think that's exactly right, Tom. I, I think he's, he thinks that he's going to break the morale of the Ukrainian people. This sort of capturing a mass, uh, shelling children uh, is all sort of designed to depress the Ukrainian population. Actually, I think it'll do the reverse. I think it'll make them even more determined to fight and defend their country. And I think even if he gets control of most of the cities, he's still going to find he's going to need large numbers of troops uh, to maintain law and order in that country. So I think he has a much bigger task ahead of him than he ever possibly imagined when he first launched this attack on Ukraine.